Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with the reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. There's a love message coming your way, Libra. Let's start from, from the very beginning. What happened in the past? Three of Wands. There's a lot of waiting here. I think uh, you have been thinking about them a lot and you want to manifest them in the connection. Or it may be vice versa for this person. Now what is happening or affecting you in your subconscious is the fact that there's a lot of sadness, disappointments and regrets uh, for this connection. Now, your focus is the Two of Cups. I think you want to manifest this connection. Maybe you think this connection with them was a soulmate connection. In the, near, in the current situation, Two of Wands and the Three of Cups. I guess uh, soon you will have a reunion or you will hear... Or maybe you had a reunion recently with them. But if not, it will be very soon. If this reading resonates with you but the other person one of the partners here will be hesitating a lot not uh, being quite sure they will be indecisive about uh, continuing with the past connection or moving forward and finding a new connection now uh, what is your hopes or fears is the Seven of Pentacles. You are realizing that there was a lot of time and energy spent into this connection and uh, you are not quite happy uh, how it went out. You expected much more from all this investment. But I think you are still contemplating and thinking, not yet uh, making a final conclusion. Now, about this person, Queen of Swords, this person is being emotionally distant now, or they are very logical. I don't sense them uh, with a lot of emotions here, but let's see. Five of Swords. It seems like this person likes to play a lot of mind games, but they want commitment now. And uh, they want commitment, but it seems like This person is very conflicted in their minds at the same time because maybe they realize that the connection had so much potential to grow to something stable, but they don't believe that uh, it would be another chance or maybe you would refuse them. But I don't sense emotions here, but I sense only stability. They believe uh, for this connection to be formal and maybe moving to the next step. Let's see why the Temperance in the reverse, the World card, the Death card, and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. At the bottom is the Ember. So there's a lot of rushing into this uh, connection someone wants to open up the person that was very withdrawn not acting wants to open up and communicate the other person thinks it is over it is done and it is completely but at the same time there's a tendency here it may be you or them that does not is not taking this uh, uh, these thoughts uh, 
slowly. They want to rush the process. Let's see why the Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Four of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, there will be a message here. A message that offers commitment, stability, respect, but the other person is likely not as much interested now, and uh, they may even refuse it. So, with the Knight of Cups, there's a message of love coming your way, or maybe you want, you will message them. Let's see one more card about the Queen of Swords here. Four of Wands, they don't believe much into stability of this connection, but they want to, they want to talk. Because we have the Page of Pentacles uh, at the bottom of the deck. They want to message you or call you. But they don't believe as much into the stability of, the, of this connection. They think it is very conflictual. And maybe you wouldn't give them another chance. And I guess uh, for some of them, they may be criticizing themselves about what happened. And I don't sense love from them, only the desire for commitment and for stability here. I see love from your part and that you want to manifest this connection. Now, I will continue this reading in the extended video where I want to view more about the energies of this reading. Also, how does your person feel now? How do they view you now? And what are their intentions? So if you are interested, you can follow me now in the extended uh, reading that is in the description box below this video. See you the next reading and bye for now.